Okay, we're going to talk about various ways of splitting kindling. You can use an axe. And it doesn't do too bad of a job. But as the sticks get smaller, it gets a little bit hairy. You can use a hatchet. mallet to be safer and you got the problem of it standing up that'd be solved by a couple of pieces of, of old tire lawnmower tires and of course you could get yourself a throw do it right. You could also buy one of those single purpose kindling splitters that I find to be kind of ridiculous. I don't believe in in using single purpose tools if at all possible. Uh, but they do work. But most people already have a tool that is very good for splitting kindling. You just put one end down on the ground, and there you go. That will work, but this Fisker is the way to go. handle down on the ground, stick the board in there, fingers never get close to the thing, and it'll work on larger pieces too. pretty good size stuff. Now this, I don't know, this may be a little big. I already tried it on one side and it didn't go through, but maybe it'll go through on this side. Like I've told people before, I use tools and abuse them. And these fishers hold up. Now anyway, Splitting some kindling. Matter of fact, it's about the only way I do it nowadays. But I can still be filled stacking up some tires, sticking some wood in it, and whacking away with an axe. It helps to be able to hit where you're aiming. Sometimes it works pretty good. Sometimes you make a mess. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good day. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you on the creek. Bye.